In chapter six, we're going to be working with discrete random variables. So it pays for a moment to take a page and remind ourselves what the difference between discrete and continuous random variables might be. Now we saw those definitions way back in section 1.1 for chapter three, but now we want to apply them to this new concept of a random variable. So a random variable is any numerical measure of the outcome of a probability experiment. So let me go back real quickly to um, a couple of our probability experiments in chapter five, one second. So looking here at this problem, this was in section 5.2, as a matter of fact, where we looked at two six-sided dice that you're rolling. Now, obviously, when you roll dice, it's random because you don't know what the outcome is going to be. And what we would want to make a random variable is some kind of numerical measure of what this, the outcome was. And that's accomplished right over here. When we made this table over here for the sum of the dice, what you're doing is creating a random variable. So you don't know what the sum of the dice is going to be until you roll them. So it's random. And it's a variable because it contains a numerical measure of the outcome. So x could be 2, x could be 3, x could be 4, 5, and so on. That's a numerical measure of the outcome of the dice. So that's what a random variable looks like. Now, a discrete random variable is a random variable that can take either a finite or countable number of values. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Whereas a continuous random variable is a random variable that can take on infinitely many values within an interval. Um, and it's, of course, tied to whether or not what you're trying to measure is a discrete thing, something you count, or if it's a continuous thing, something you measure, like um, inches or feet or temperature. It's on a scale that has infinitely many decimal places if you could just measure it more finely with a better tool. So we're going to determine whether the following random variables are discrete or continuous. Well, the number that comes up on a 20-sided die, let me remind you what a 20-sided die looks like here in the probability reference sheet from our appendix. 20-sided dice look like this. Um, so they have 20 sides that are all equal triangles. So the number that comes up would be a discrete thing, right? Because it's either 4 or it's 6 or it's 14, but you can't have the die roll 14.23642, right? So that makes this very much discrete. Now letter B, what about the height of the NBA players? Well, height is something you measure, right, with a ruler or yardstick or tape measure in this case. And if you can get more and more tick marks on that tape measure, you could get finer and finer and finer measurements. That makes it a continuous variable. Similarly, weight, right? So you might think of weight as being round to the nearest pound, but you can actually have somebody weigh, I don't know, 202.3645213 pounds. You just need a scale that would measure things finely enough for that. So that would also be continuous. Now, the number of songs that are on your smartphone, on any, sorry, not your smartphone, a randomly selected smartphone. Um, so if you go grab somebody's phone, not that you should do that, and figure out how many songs they have on their smartphone, that would be discrete, right? They have the full song. But the length of time for all those songs would be continuous, right? Because that's a measurement that, that you can make, and it can go to the tenth of a second, the hundredth of a second, the thousandth of a second, and so on.